Hello there, you once more welcome to the Glory Realm Devotion Moment. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. God has something beautiful, something awesome for you today. It gives me great joy to open the scripture and share with you. So I'm looking at the Gospel book of John chapter number 6. And yesterday we were talking about the reality of Jesus being the bread of life. And when the Bible talks about him being the bread of life and us eating the bread of life, and what he was talking about us eating his flesh and drinking his blood, it was actually something that, you know, he was trying to draw attention to. is appropriating the life of Jesus for yours. He's actually simply believing that what he did on the cross of Calvary is for you. And if you do that, the life he shared on the cross of Calvary, I mean, the, 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 the life he gave on the cross of Calvary and the blood he shed on the cross of Calvary now begins to take effect on you. He paid the supreme price, which is the wages of sin and which brings death. So he died the death that you and I should have died so that we can have the life that he brought for us. And what a wonderful thing. His blood cleanses us from all unrighteousness so we can live life to the fullest. And in chapter number 6 again, verse number 56, he says, He who feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood dwells continually in me, and I in like manner dwell continually in him. This is amazing. So Jesus said, the person who does this dwells in him. And Jesus dwells in that person. And that is amazing. You know, you know that you're not alone. You know that something beautiful has happened to you. When you find that, that you are able to, you know, stand some situation normally that you couldn't stand. Now, this is one great difference that happened. And this is how you know Jesus has taken over your life and he lives in you. You discover that the things that you used to do, you do them no more. You now have the resisting power and the grace to be able to overcome them. Why? There's Jesus on your inside. The presence of the Spirit of God on your inside gives you the privilege and the advantage over those things that used to defeat you. You know, the day I gave my life to Jesus, I was walking on the road on my way to church. I used to just do that as a religious, you know, you know, Baptist boy. But the day I gave my life to Jesus, something beautiful happened. I was on the road walking to church and suddenly it occurred to me that something quite unusual has happened to me. I was so excited. I leaped, you know, into the air. I was midway in flight in the air when I remember that I was walking on the road in the full, full view of every other person. You know, I landed and I started comporting myself. But why did I jump into the air? I got so excited because something beautiful has happened to me. It is nothing else but Jesus on the inside. When Jesus comes in, he makes all the difference. And something beautiful begins to happen. And you are empowered to live the supernatural life. And that's how you know you have Jesus on the inside. The things that you couldn't do before, you have the ability to do. I mean, positive, impactful things. And the things that you used to struggle with before, there's a power that comes on the inside. In John chapter number one, he said, as many as believed him to them, he gave power to become the sons of God. When you become a child of God, you receive power. And that power is a personality. It's Jesus on the inside. And that's what our scripture here we read is talking to us about. And then you, when you read on to verse 57, it says, Just as the living Father sent me, and I live by through because of the Father, even so, whoever continues to feed on me, take note of the word continues. Because some people miss this up. Uh, a lot of people feel he's just saying some prayers and then going on to live what kind of life, whatever kind of life they want. No, he says, whoever continues to feed on me. So your ability to stay in this glorious life depends on how much you feed on Jesus. And you know, how much, you know, when he talks about the, the word there, the word is significant. Uh, I mean, when he talked about bread, the bread is significant of the word of God. You know, remember when he was tempted in Luke chapter number four, he, he said to the devil, he said, man must not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. So the word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord is what we need to live. And he said, I am 
that living word i'm that living bread so if you continually feed on jesus who is the bread of life who is the word of god remember john one says in the beginning was the word and the word was the god and the word was god the same was in the beginning with god all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of man and he's talking about jesus there so the you continually feed on the word of God, there's going to be a continual transformation of your life and the glory of God takes over. So he said, even so whoever continues to feed on me, whoever takes me for his food and his nourishment or, 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 and is nourished by me shall in his turn live through and because of me. In other words, this person will have a supernatural life. He will live through and because of Jesus. When things happen to people and cut them off, it doesn't happen to you that way. The power of God on your inside, in other words, the word of God you meditate on day and night brings in supernatural transformation, empowers you, enlightens you, inspires you, motivates you, and gives you the grace to succeed in life. And that's why we are able to go on from victory to victory, from grace to grace, from one dimension of glory to the other because the hand and the power of God is mightily at work in us. Don't you want to live this supernatural life? It's the supernatural life that makes us take flight. It's the supernatural life that breaks barriers, that pulls down strongholds, that destroys everything that stands in our way. It's the supernatural life that makes us arrive when others are behind. It's this supernatural life that gives us the opportunity to be a blessing to our world. It is not us, it is Jesus on the inside of us. Don't you want to have this Jesus on your inside? Jesus on the inside makes all the difference. Make him the Lord and Savior of your life today and your life will be revolutionized and your life will never be the same again. Thank you for being part of this broadcast. It has been a wonderful time sharing the word of God with you. Till I come your way tomorrow by the grace of God, I'm Ego Lewis Yegweburu. God bless you.